Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general weekly reading for Aquarius from the 14th to the 20th of October 2019. Please don't forget to watch Moon and Rising Sign for a more complete picture. If you'd like a personal reading, please go to my website jessmud.co.uk and book a reading. I've put the decks that I'm using in the description box and I put in links to Amazon and eBay, so please follow these links to view or to buy the decks. And don't forget to watch my videos on Simple Energy Healing Remedies my deck walkthrough series as well as my new series on gemstones and crystals you find those very very interesting so like share subscribe leave me some comments if these messages resonate with you now i'm starting off with the general energy read and i'm going to be using the dream cards for that Okay, so the first card that you have is the doctor's card. So if you are having any any kind of health issues, there is a, a great need for you to go and seek some medical attention. You might be going getting through, uh, you know, some kind of uh, physical problems, uh, and maybe you are in the process of getting or receiving medical attention at this particular time. You've got the home card over here. So there's some problems going on with the home front over there. It seems like there is, uh, you know, you're not quite stable within that home. You might be even moving home at this particular time. It doesn't seem like uh, you have a permanent place. So you might be in transition at the moment. Maybe this is the thing that is causing the stress and is causing problems as well uh, with your health. You've got the burying card over here. So this is about letting go of uh, old situations and starting afresh. And maybe this is the reason why you are in transition as far as the home front. You might be moving home and letting go of past relationships and moving on to something different over there. So you're putting out a lot of feelers there that dove is flying off. Maybe you are looking for a new place over there. But it's certainly that you are leaving behind something that was established and moving on to something different. Now, in the past, you've got the children card over here and the tattoos. So you might have been dealing with children. So maybe you have, uh, you're trying to sort out problems with your children. This could also mean that maybe you're making fresh starts as well with that children card of yours, starting something brand new. You could also be working with children here. You've got the tattoos card over here. And this is talking about having illusions. So maybe things that you thought uh, were supposed to be one way turned out to be something different and you realize that whatever you had in mind, whatever your understanding of the situation was, wasn't quite what it was. Uh, things were very, very different from how you thought it was actually um, supposed to be. People were hiding. You can see this man's face is covered and he's got his big hat covering his eyes as well. So it seems like you've been deceived into believing something. Maybe somebody uh, pulled the wool over your eyes over there with that tattoos card. Now going into the future, you've got the dancing, the ten. So this is the end of an old cycle. And this is about, this is almost like um, the ten of cups. So things are coming to an end. And there is going to be some kind of victory on your part. There is celebration. This is also counseling that you do need to go out there and go and have some fun. Get out there, socialize. Uh, you know, um, even if you take one night off, let your hair down and, you know, meet people. Um, you know, get things off your chest. You've got the mountains card over here, so there is a need for you to make some f from some plans for the future. You're trying to, but you really can't see what the outcome is going to be. So you're a bit confused as to what to do. You know where you want to go to, but you're not quite sure how to get over there. And there's a need for clarity to come in over there. So, uh, you know, start looking, start making plans for the future. Even though it doesn't seem very clear right now, there is a need for you to get over this old situation and move on. And you can only do that by starting to see a vision for the future. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to be using the Fate Tarot for the main read. So 
So you've got the Ace of Pentacles. So it looks like there's money that's going to be coming into your hand over here. You can see she's drawing the coin on her hand over here. So new money is coming in. Maybe it's a new job, a new situation, but there's some stability that is coming in and security is re-entering your life again. So, um, you know, there is that need for, me, for you to start planning what you want to do. Um, it looks like, uh, you know, there is divine guidance that is going on over here. So you are being led uh, towards the right path. You are being shown the way and the universe is opening the pathway for money to come in for you there. So this could be a new job coming in. This could be, um, you know, money coming in some sort of way. It could be a payout from something, but certainly money coming into your hands over there. You've gone through a tower moment over there. And maybe this is the reason why even in the energy read, um, you know, your home, um, because that in that particular card, um, energy read uh, the house was raised above the ground so there's no stability there and you can see the tower in this deck is also not attached to the ground over here so you are in some kind of transition phase you might be in between homes uh, or going through some type, kind of temporary living condition it seems like your whole world has been turned upside down as well and it seems like everything has you know almost fallen apart with that tower card over here you've got the knave of wands over here so uh, there is this offer that is coming in over here and it is maybe possibly a new job offer that's going to grow into something better the knave of wands is about getting news you can see there's a quill and a scroll over there so some kind of news coming in for you but also maybe you need to reply to this particular offer and it's going to grow it's the beginning of something, it's a seed, and it's going to give rise to something really good. And you've got this nice sun in the background over there. So whatever this new offer is, it's going to be a good offer, and it is something well worth taking. It might be a job offer uh, overseas, or might be some new project that you need to handle. But it is something that is well worth considering, and some something that is well worth accepting. So in the past, you've got the Six of Swords. You might have gone through some legal issues and you are now getting over that. So a lot of problems uh, that you went through, uh, maybe a lot of conflict, and maybe you had to go down the legal path to get uh, resolved resolve those issues. This is also about moving home. So you've left behind a very conflict, uh, a conflicted situation, a situation where there's a lot of drama, and you're moving on, on to make your home somewhere else. Now, you could be doing overseas travel, and even with that Knave of Wands, this could be messages coming from overseas. The Wands always talks about international travel or even moving on internationally. So you will, it looks like you are moving home here, and you're going to start a job or, or start afresh somewhere else. You've got the Knave of Swords over here, so some legal me messages that you received. Uh, it might be even legal news, maybe a settlement of some sort coming through, and maybe the settlement has brought in some money as well. So what's in your mind? It looks like you are considering getting a home somewhere else and moving on with that Knight of Cups. Uh, so you might be even thinking of doing some further study, but it might be that you're, you're planning on going and living overseas or going and buying a home overseas. You're suddenly thinking of travel over water over there. Uh, it looks like uh, this is something that's been playing on your mind. Um, and also, you know, uh, this is about even seeking medical attention if you do need to do it. So if you're going through any kind of problems, you do need to seek attention if you need it. Six of Cups showing that there is an offer coming in for you. And in, this is an egg, so it's the beginning of something brand new. So with the Six of Cups, it's usually a, a, a really good offer that comes in for you. There's a lot of options, but it looks like you're going to be picking one. It might be somebody, and there's a really nice big cup over here. This could be an offer to do further study, but this could be a really good job offer. This could even be buying a new home somewhere else. So you're considering something there. So the Eight of Pentacles, whatever work you're going to be undertaking in this new job, there's going to be, because you've got that Ace of Pentacles over there, with that Eight of Pentacles, there's a lot of work and you're going to need to focus quite a bit on it. You'll be working quite independently, but also learning a lot and practicing a lot. Uh, so you'll be working very hard and being very, very focused on that particular job. You've got the Lover's card over here. There's a choice coming in for you, you here. You need to look at things from a very different point of view. Uh, and maybe consider things that you wouldn't consider uh, doing. So maybe thinking outside the box and doing something very, very different um, in this new job. You just want things to end with that Ten of Swords. You've had enough. Maybe you've gone through legal issues and, uh, you know, maybe things didn't work out quite what you wanted, how you wanted it. There's been breakdowns of communication over here. It feels as though your security has been shattered over there. 
you can see this person has no legs to stand on then maybe that's how you're feeling at the moment uh, like you know uh, like the rug was pulled from under your feet so you're feeling very very insecure and very very unstable at the moment and you are in a in a state of transition but all you want is for everything to come to an end going to the future you've got the hanged man the queen of cups of year and the four of swords so with the hanged man waiting for things to change waiting for um you know um there's some kind of sacrifice that you have made within the situation. You've given up something that you loved. Uh, but also, there is a need for you to look at it from a very different point of view and take a very, very emotional standpoint from this. So, you know, instead of being very, very upset about something, you might need to reconsider it and look at it from a very different point of view. Uh, things are a bit stuck at the moment and that's how you're feeling as well as though nothing is moving uh, but that is just an illusion there may be something that needs to come to light first in order for you to make things move so there might be some kind of missing information there's the queen of cups over here so you're still very you know crying quite a bit you can see she's underwater there you're thinking about the past a lot and crying a lot and feeling very very upset about it so there's that element about feeling very very lonely but also feeling quite depressed about what happened uh, You've got the Four of Swords over here, so you need to come up with a new plan, a new strategy. And this person's putting on his war paint, so you need to be prepared for any event any eventuality and you need to be prepared for battle so you need to take some time off strategize and come up with a new plan on how to sort things out um, and you need to start making some plans for the future as well it looks like there is some kind of offer coming in over there the work front it looks like you will be focusing a lot on that work very very soon and learning a lot on the job as well so you've been through uh, or you're going through quite a difficult period at the moment uh, the first card from the Angel Tarot is the Nine of Water, so it looks like your wishes are going to come true. So whatever is going on over here, it looks like things are going to settle out. She's got a head above the water. Now, in this Queen of Cups, you can see she's underwater here, but in this Nine of Water, you can see she's emerged from the water. So you are going to get over the situation, and there's going to be a positive outcome. You know, uh, you are going to be able to leave behind all those problems and you are going to be able to rise above it. There's the Awakening card over here. So this is also the Hangman card. So look at things from a different perspective. A temporary standstill, important to be yourself. So all the things seem to be very, very stuck right now because you've got two cards of the Hangman over here. You will be able to overcome the situation. It's only temporary. And then the choice comes in for you, being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate pretending like there's no problem so uh, it might be that you just need to walk away from the situation you have to make a decision about what you need to do with this two of air it's about making that choice and looking at it from a very logical point of view so set aside emotions uh, you know and try and think about things very logically and come up with a plan this is also about maybe legal decisions coming in for you and you getting some kind of conclusion or ending to any kind of legal problems that you have been facing recently uh, you might be at as they say you might be at a stalemate situation so maybe that outcome not quite what you want maybe there's no a real outcome to that particular case maybe you don't get what you want as well um, with the stalemate situation card over here but there is a need for you to make some kind of uh, very logical plan and make a decision about what you want to do so you are at a bit of a crossroads over there uh, maybe legal wise but also in your life there is that crossroads you need to look at all the facts this uh, two of air of the two of swords is about not not wanting to see the truth um, so there's a need for you to no matter what that um, truth is there is a need for, to, for you to face it there's a need for you to see it uh, and some information will come to light to allow you to make that decision as well so i hope that this reading has resonated with you please don't forget to like share subscribe and leave me some comments if it has and thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye